And the first thing, as we always talk about, is emergency. I know y'all remember this picture because I use it a lot. Is the first things first is you need to have an emergency fund when you're starting out. At least, and I always say it, most emergencies you can handle, except for if you lose your job or something like that. Most emergencies don't cost more than a thousand dollars. And so having a thousand dollars in a bank account somewhere gives you some sort sense of relief, gives you some sense of stability, gives you some sense of simpleness in your life. It just makes things just go a lot easier. And when I say emergency, I mean actual emergencies. You don't touch this money unless something happened, unless like you need to fix something on your car and you don't, just don't have $500 that you need to put on it to fix the thing on your car. Maybe you have a flat tire all of a sudden, you need to get new tires. Maybe you have a dead battery or something like that. You need stuff like that, like the HVAC in your house goes out. You need to buy a new microwave. You need to got, buy a washing machine. You need to buy all these different things that can pop up all of a sudden that you can't plan for. That's what an emergency fund is. I've told this story before about my mom, about I think it was a year or two ago, we started talking about having an emergency fund, making a plan to make sure that you have an emergency fund. And she was like, you know what? You're right. She was receptive to it. She received the message. We sat down, we made a plan and she was able to follow through. And then this year, when this whole Rona thing started happening, like three things went, just happened all of a sudden in the house. You know what they say? When it rains, it pours. Like it's never one thing that happens at one time. Everything happens all at the same time. So at home, in my mom's house, the water heater all of a sudden stopped working. It started leaking and it was making a mess everywhere. It just stopped. It just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. And then the fridge had some issues with it. It wasn't cooling food as much as it should have. And it was also those leak, those water that was leaking out of it. And then on top of it, the dryer in the house also went bad. So these are three major expenses. These things are not cheap to fix. These are three massive things that you, that, will cripple anyone. But because we had put this plan into motion, because we had sat down and thought about, hey, we need an emergency fund in case anything can happen because you never know. All those things happened and she didn't really even sweat at all. It was just like, ah, man, this sucks. It became an inconvenience. Like, man, I don't want to spend money on this thing, but you know what? Thank God that I have this money set aside so I can do this. So she was able to fix the water heater, able to buy a new dryer, able to call out a, and oh, and the other thing that happened was also the dishwasher in the house went bad. And so it's just like, everything just happened all at the same time. And so, but through, even through all of that, she was able to do every single one of those things. Why? Because she had an emergency fund. It's the same thing for each and every single one of us. We never know when something might happen. We never know when an emergency situation will pop up and just ruin everything for us. That's why it's good to have, and I'll say again, at least $1,000. Start off with just $1,000 because that will make life so much easier for you. It reduces the stress of going through life. I promise you. I promise you it will reduce the stress of going through life. Anyway, 